Ooh. Hello in the game, Beaver, and welcome back to another glorious episode of LEGO! Jurassic World. Today we're going to be unboxing another special set. We are now whittling it down to the last three sets that have been released. This one is a special one, as they all lie in my heart. And they're presented to me by my beautiful assistant. Give me that! I can't, I can't do this anymore, I just can't. This is the Dilophosaurus something set. Does it say what it is? No, but I bet it was just put up there. You're a good guy, you are. So this is selling for $29.99. Oh God, $29.99, which is 30 pound, um, which is probably about 40, $50. I'd probably say $45. It's probably selling for cheaper. Again, as always, if you're wanting to buy this on the cheap, Go buy it on the American eBay or something. So this looks amazing. If we just look quickly at the front, we have um, we have our exclusives, which is the Dilophosaurus, Gray, and an ACU soldier who doesn't have a, a jacket for the first time ever, and a different face, which is glorious. So we have this huge Dilophosaurus chasing down Gray, and another gyrosphere, another one. So we have two, and a Jurassic World. I'm guessing it's sort of an ACU Jeep. It comes with missiles. We have a rotation. Look, it's like, look, you can move. Uh, the Dilophosaurus are re ready to eat the missile. We have, um, I think this is showing that everything in the back can flip out if you turn the uh, nozzle of the Jeep. Uh, of course, a size comparison of all the dinosaurs and collect them all, Pokemon advertising style. A little video game promotion for the uh, Lego movie, Lego, Lego movie, Lego Jurassic World game that's coming out soon. And a nice diorama which shows the, uh, oh wow, this Jeep actually has like a Dennis Nedry sort of pulley system holding the um, Dilophosaurus there, him about to tease it. I don't know what that's gonna do really. And Gray running to it with binoculars like, oh look, a dinosaur. So let's waste no more time and get straight to opening it. Ah! Oh my, oh my god. Oh, kids, do not run your fingers across cut cardboard because you think a paper cut's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, look at that. I cut myself with a cardboard and it's bleeding quite a lot actually. That's, that's pretty bad. So you think paper cuts are bad. When you open the box, do not slide your finger across it because you'll cut yourself. I'm gonna sue Lego. <laughs> There it is, about 25 minutes, and it's all done. So what I really, really, really like about this set is one thing, and it is this thing. Not one thing, but one thing as in especially is the Dilophosaurus. I just, I can't get over. There we go. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Nice colorings. And I just hope that Dilophosaurus is in this movie. I just really do, because he's, he's even in the Legos. I mean, come on, it was one of the dinosaurs that everyone remembers from the first film. But look at it. It looks so cool. Let's do a little bit of zoom out so you can see it all in, in all its glory. Again, we've got one mode for the mouth, like sorry, two. That is opening and closing. There we go. Uh, again, we have a, basically it's a raptor body with different legs. We still have the uh, the bendy rubber rubber tail. Don't know why that's there, but I'm not going to complain. We have the four Lego bits on the top. Nice claws, lovely coloring. I just hope it's in the movie. Next we have the Jeep, oh god no, oh, there we go. Next is the Jeep, this thing is pretty damn cool. It comes with a little ACU soldier, a nice little bit at the back where if you swivel 
the uh, this little back tire thing. You can send them all flying. You, uh, you can just like twist and have lots of fun. It comes with uh, some chicken bits and a screwdriver and even the um, the ACU's little pokey staff of electricness. But this set is quite nostalgic. This Jeep really reminds me of the uh, the Wrangler from the first Jurassic Park movie. And you can like take off the back so you can put everything in there you want. It doesn't have opening doors, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. There is some weird parts here. Uh, not really sure what these do, or what these are for. I mean, now it has like eyebrows. <laughs> Uh, but the one of the best parts and why it reminds me of the Jeep Wrangler is a pulley system on the front You remember that part with Dennis Nedry? Oh, yeah, this is this, There you go. It's so it's getting stuck actually around the uh, on the side. It shouldn't be doing that um, There we go. There we go, and you, you can just pull it out So if it's tied to the Dilophosaur and the Dilophosaur runs, it'll not get stuck <laughs> Pull it and then uh, it takes the jeep with it. <laughs> so this is great. You can even reenact. Or oh, I bet there's be there'll be there'll be people out there that can repaint this to look like the Jurassic Park Jeep Wrangler. And I'm pretty sure people have already done that before. But that's a really nice addition. A bit of nostalgia there. And again, there's plenty of playability here. You can have them chasing down the uh, loft. So I think what you're supposed to have is uh, Gray. So you'll get a nice little close-up. He's in a little gyrosphere. So that makes two. If you buy all the Lego sets. You get two gyrospheres, which makes up for them not being able to fit in uh, two Lego people. So you'd have two, uh, one in each, and here's a little pair of binoculars. Again, he comes with alternative faces. You have a uh, screamy face there and a normal face. Again, this thing rolls, and on a wooden table, it makes an awesome sound. Listen to this. Like that sound. Well, maybe not that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, it sounds so cool, and it. It spins perfectly. He stays upright most, well I say, most, he stays upright all of the time. This time I didn't have a problem with this one because I found out what the mistake was in the Indominus Rex set where I just didn't push in a little bit. So when it was spinning around, it was catching and having that problem. And this time, second go around, I got it right. And we're not, first time, no problems. So it takes a while to wind in, but uh, <laughs> we'll get there, we'll get there. There you go, much faster now. It's a great purchase, it's not too expensive. And for what you get, I would love to have like five of these and just have them all go on a little adventure into the wilderness to try to track down all five Dilophosauruses, which will all have their names, Greeny, Green and Green Eye. There is, on top of this, uh, I don't I, I don't really call these launchers. In the instruction manual, it has a, ah, the launch, the, the fire projectiles. But honestly, these on top aren't really that good. I mean, if you just, it's not like the other ones where you just press down and the spring fires it. This one, uh, if you don't push it properly, it just falls out. What I found is you need to flick it. If you flick it, oh, hold on. Oh, it did, I did flick it. It didn't come out there for some other reason. Okay, if you flick it, oh God, flick it. There you go. If you flick it, it fires straight out. So uh, you're gonna have to do that instead of just pressing the button down, but really, that's not a problem. I just, I just would, I just like it auto done automatic for me. <laughs> Get out! No, not the chicken legs! There we go, Dilophosaur wins, Grey dies! So in conclusion, I would say this set is well, well, well worth the money. Dilophosaurus alone is just an awesome addition. I've been waiting to have some sort of dinosaur like this in Lego form. We've got Indominus, we've got T-Rex, we've got the Raptors. T-Rex and Raptors, you can buy them in other sets, not just Jurassic World sets. But the Indominus and the Dilophosaur, I think the Dilophosaur anyway. The Indominus is definitely an exclusive to the Jurassic World uh, Lego set. The Dilophosaur looks like it is as well. I couldn't imagine them doing it before. I could be wrong. I haven't really looked into it, but I'm pretty sure this is just a welcome, welcome addition to it. And it is well worth the money. So if you're thinking about spending your money on a Lego set, I would consider this one. If you don't want to splash out too much, it's really good. You've got plenty of playability. You come with a, comes with a gyrosphere, a Jeep, a little ACU unit, and a dinosaur. Pretty much the full package there. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye. The Lapisaur wants to play a game with you, great. <laughs> <laughs> this one rolled backwards like, hey.